chapter 12. Then I witnessed in heaven an event of great significance. I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant, and she cried out in the pain of labor as she awaited her delivery. Suddenly, I witnessed in heaven another significant event. I saw a large red dragon with seven heads and ten horns with seven crowns on his head. His tail dragged down one-third of the stars, which he threw to the earth. He stood before the woman as she was about to give birth to her child, ready to devour the baby as soon as it was born. She gave birth to a boy who was to rule all nations with an iron rod. And the child was snatched away from the dragon and was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where God had prepared a place to give her care for 1260 days. Then there was war in heaven. Michael and the angels under his command fought the dragon and his angels. And the dragon lost the battle and was forced out of heaven. This great dragon, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens, It has happened at last! The salvation and power and kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ! For the accuser has been thrown down to earth, the one who accused our brothers and sisters before our God day and night. And they have defeated him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of their testimony, and they were not afraid to die. Rejoice, O heavens, and you who live in the heavens, rejoice. But terror will come on the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you in great anger, and he knows that he has little time. And when the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the child. She was given two wings like those of a great eagle. This allowed her to fly to a place prepared for her in the wilderness, where she would be cared for and protected from the dragon for a time, times, and half a time. Then the dragon tried to drown the woman with a flood of water that flowed from its mouth. But the earth helped her by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that gushed out from the mouth of the dragon. Then the dragon became angry at the woman, and he declared war against the rest of her children, all who keep God's commandments, and confess that they belong to Jesus. Then he stood, waiting on the shore of the sea. Chapter 8 When the Lamb broke the seventh seal, there was silence throughout heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and they were given seven trumpets, then another angel with a gold incense burner came and stood at the altar, and a great quantity of incense was given to him to mix with the prayers of God's people to be offered on the gold altar before the throne. The smoke of the incense mixed with the prayers of the saints ascended up to God from the altar where the angel had poured them out. Then the angel filled the incense burner with fire from the altar and threw it down upon the earth, and thunder crashed, lightning flashed, and there was a terrible earthquake. Then the seven angels with the seven trumpets prepared to blow their mighty blasts. The first angel blew his trumpet, and hail and fire mixed with blood were thrown down upon the earth, and one-third of the earth was set on fire. One-third of the trees were burned, and all the grass was burned. Then the second angel blew his trumpet, and a great mountain of fire was thrown into the sea and one-third of the water in the sea became blood, and one-third of all things living in the sea died, and one-third of all the ships on the sea were destroyed. Then the third angel blew his trumpet, and a great flaming star fell out of the sky, burning like a torch. It fell upon one-third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. The name of the star was Bitterness. It made one-third of the water bitter, Many people died because the water was so bitter. Then the fourth angel blew his trumpet, and one-third of the sun was struck, and one-third of the moon, and one-third of the stars, and they became dark. And one-third of the day was dark, and one-third of the night also. Then I looked up, and I heard a single eagle crying loudly as it flew through the air, Terror, terror, terror to all who belong! 
belong to this world because of what will happen when the last three angels blow their trumpets. Chapter 9 Then the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen to earth from the sky, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. When he opened it, smoke poured out as though from a huge furnace, and the sunlight and air were darkened by the smoke. Then locusts came from the smoke and descended on the earth, and they were given power to sting like scorpions. They were told not to hurt the grass or plants or trees, but to attack all the people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were told not to kill them, but to torture them for five months with agony like the pain of scorpion stings. In those days people will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee away. The locusts looked like horses armed for battle. They had gold crowns on their heads, and they had human faces. Their hair was long like the hair of a woman, and their teeth were like the teeth of a lion. They wore armor made of iron, and their wings roared like an army of chariots rushing into battle. They had tails that stung like scorpions with power to torture people. This power was given to them for five months. Their king is the angel from the bottomless pit. His name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek, Apollyon, the destroyer. The first terror is past, but look, two more terrors are coming. Then the sixth angel blew his trumpet, and I heard a voice speaking from the four horns of the gold altar that stands in the presence of God. And the voice spoke to the sixth angel who held the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound in the great Euphrates River. And the four angels who had been prepared for this hour and day and month and year were turned loose to kill one-third of all the people on earth. They led an army of 200 million mounted troops. I heard an announcement of how many there were. And in my vision I saw the horses and the riders sitting on them. The riders wore armor that was fiery red and sky blue and yellow. The horses' heads were like the heads of lions, and fire and smoke and burning sulfur billowed from their mouths. One third of all the people on earth were killed by these three plagues, by the fire and the smoke and burning sulfur that came from the mouths of the horses. Their power was in their mouths, but also in their tails, for their tails had heads like snakes with the power to injure people. But the people who did not die in these plagues still refused to turn from their evil deeds. They continued to worship demons and idols made of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood, idols that neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders or their witchcraft or their immorality or their thefts.